Okay, another quick video, again, more for myself than anybody else. This is about the Bachmann 70 ton um, DCC equipped locomotive. Um, these routinely come up for sale quite cheap, uh, $50 or less. They are low cost locomotives. They've got DCC enabled. The details actually on them are very excellent. I mean, you even have little, you have, uh, Get a thing in here. You have uh, decoupling arms that actually will flip up if you want. Um, I'm making this video again more for me, but I thought I'd share in case anybody else comes across it. You may want to pull the shell off this, or you may find a couple problems with it. I found two problems with mine. One was that the stripes were right here on the fuel tank were backwards. And two, this coupler would not swing whatsoever. So let me go over what happens and I'll tell you what the deal is. So I'm gonna flip it over. I'm be careful not to damage any details. So we'll start with a coupler problem. The coupler would not swing. See right now it, it's, actually I swung it out of the pocket so I got it too loose. Um, you can see actually, yeah, I can see the plate shifting. So this screw holds this plastic plate down, which holds a coupler in the slot. And the problem I had with this was that it was so tight, whoever put the screw in put way too much torque into it. And when they did that, the coupler would move. Now, it'll move freely here. It was much tighter. This wouldn't move at all. It's just a simple case of loosening the screw. Okay, simple enough. Now it's out. Now I mentioned, I mentioned the fuel tank was backwards. The stripes are backwards. Well, again, whoever built this thing, pull this off. Oops, hang on. Pause. Ah, the power of editing. So whoever put this thing together, this comes off. There's a single screw in the center of the fuel tank. You take that out. It's an itty bitty screw. It's right there. A small screw I've seen yet on a locomotive. And what happened was whoever had put this together didn't see the problem when they did that. So I popped it off and flipped it around. Well, since I had it off, I thought I'd take a look and share with you what I've also noticed. So to disassemble one of these, you can leave the couplers on. They don't need to come off. Actually, that one's crooked. I'll probably fix that too. Um, anyway, so to disassemble one of these, you pop this off. Single screw, set that aside. Again, make sure to put it someplace safe. And then there's two more screws, which I'm not following my own advice, I don't have sitting on the table. But uh, there's two screws here, and those screws are, where's my screwdriver, there we go. One goes here, and one goes there. You pull those two off, and after you pull those two off, you can look them over, and the shell just pops right off. You can leave the couplers on, you don't have to screw around with the couplers at all. Um, and then you'll see the locomotive itself. Uh, there's the front light, the rear light, um, which is a very flat thing because the cab is hollow. Uh, there's no crew inside like the 44 tonners. Uh, if you need to pull the cab off, there's four tabs in the corners. I think you can see them one, two, three, four. Otherwise, to get the shell off, like I did before, there's the two mounting holes for the shell. Um, although this is very similar to the 44 tonner in that respect. Uh, the 44 tonner does not have this big weight on it. <clears throat> yeah, there's your motor, there's your circuit board. If I had to pull this weight off, it's simply a matter of pulling these two screws off. I'm not going to mess with it right now unless I want to rewire it. Focus, there we go. But yeah, just a quick video on how you tear down one of these things if you want to get at it. Um, part of why I wanted to do that was to try to get into possibly lubricating it. Now you can get at it, I guess, if I pull the board or squeeze something in there. Otherwise, the nice thing about these Bachmans is on the bottom is you can get to the gears simply by lubing through the holes. Um, again, this is for me. Hopefully it helps somebody else down the road. Um, this is a little growly, but I don't have any time into it. I haven't lubed it yet. Um, I'll probably do another review on it later. But like I said, you can pick these things up for under 50 bucks if you watch the shows and watch the sales. Have a nice day. Later, folks. Bye.